baked. Elam midi the malafis being on. It always feels like you're talking to the food item that you're able to spread on bread. Malafis means it adjoins, it accompanies bread. Upaslo malafto. And pas is not something which adjoins something. It's bread is bread. Something is, is secondary to it. For daisa nami lo malafto. We find that you could use dice as a type of cracked wheat. It also you don't eat that with bread. And yet it suffices. When it's cooked, it suffices to be what? Terev tashilin. Dom Reb Zero, Hani Babloi. Reb Zero says, Hani Babloi Tipshoi. The foolish Babylonians. Da'achli nama binamo. In Europe, every you did everything with bread. So when they would eat oatmeal or porridge, they'd all eat it with bread. So, but what are you basically eating? You're eating bread with bread. You're eating grain with grain. So you see clearly that it's not something that what that accompanies bread. Right? And what? And yet, it, 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 it qualifies for Yiftaf Shilin. Vomer Av Nechumi Bar Zechai Mishmei Dabai Marvin B'Daiso. Rav Nechumi Bar Zechai says you can use it for Yiftaf Shilin. Daiso. El Amidid Lo Shchiach Minan. You have to have something which is unusual. Yiftaf Shilin, you have to eat something. Else. What's the whole idea? It's to remind you. So if it's regular bread, it's not a reminder, but it's something which is unique. It reminds you. So Mar says, Upa Shchicho. So Mar says, Relative to bread is considered not as common. Bai says, what qualifies for the Erev Tavshil has to be something cooked. Avo Paslo, my time. You need something that's semi not available. Pashchicho, everybody has bread. Vodaiso, Loshchicho. Vodaishchicho. Daiso, this cracked wheat, it's something which is unusual. He says he cannot. Daiso. If, if the if the key component is that it's not something which you, normally it's not eaten. You need something that accompanies you eat it with bread. Daiso is like porridge, uh, oatmeal. It's not something. Zero, as we find that it's not something which you eat with bread because the usual behavior of the Babloi, the Babylonians, Dom Reb Zera, Hani Babloi, Tipshoi, the foolish Babylonians, the Achli Namo, to eat bread with bread. Okay. Reb Chio, Ton Reb Chio, Adashim Shebishul Shebish Shebishule Agdero. Finish cooking a pot. The lentils that are on the bottom of the pot, the dregs. Tefillin is something which is choshev, and the checks of the bottom of the pot maybe that doesn't qualify. So Reb Chia learned adash mishushu like deira so mechalein mishumiv tefillin. Even though it's something which it's totally insignificant, doesn't have any special identity. Nevertheless, since it's a cooked item and it's edible, that qualifies there for tefillin. Honey meal in this book side, but how much of how much of has to be. What if a person cuts meat and the fat which accumulates on the meat on the knife and then if he takes the fat off and the fat itself is exiased, you say, what is that residue? That residue meat, it's basically, it has no value. Normally you wash it off, you, you discard it. No, he says, no, the shamnun shall have a sakin, the fat that's on the knife, goro, scrapes it off and he gives, if it's exiased, he says, right to line that, then if tafshilin, that's only if the fat you just scrape off has a xayas. Omar Avasi, Omar Rav, Rasis, name of Rav, Dagrim Titanim, Maluchim, small salted fish. You cannot use them for Tashim. Yeah. Omar Rav Yosef, Vim Tzolon, Nochri Somachalim. No, we're talking. We'll see if something could be easily prepared, it qualifies as tashila. If it has, hasn't been cooked or broiled, we'll see in a, second, in a moment. Oh, he, Rav Yosef says, Vas is named Rav, small fish. Qualify. For Ev Tashilin, but what if they were broiled, right? He says, 